back on sources and uses, what we're doing here in row 25 is essentially pulling in four percentages, which in total sum to 100% of our construction costs, and then simply multiplying that ratio by the total construction budget, and it's simply going to drop in in each period. Okay, so this is the how much portion of the question. The second piece is the when. Okay, so we are always asking ourselves both how much and when, how much and when over and over again. So how do we get this formula to work for us? Essentially what we're doing here is taking the assumed loss to least percentage of 1%, multiply that by the elements of gross potential rent, or simply the total gross potential rent. And then what we wanted to do was provide a timing trigger such that this didn't appear prematurely. And as we said, we didn't want it to start until 13 months after that first unit was leased because that's the first instance in which this could potentially become a reality. So we said times if the current month number is less than or equal to first C of O plus 13 months, then return a zero. So when we take an expression and multiply it by zero, it simply wipes it out, prevents it from flowing through. Otherwise, multiply by one, meaning let it flow through. And so this starts in month number 18 in this case.